Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, we just started looking into uh, what was the beginning of the Strawberry House. That is technically the fun house. That is technically in a whole big ass uh, amusement park on a deserted island. A lot of layers. <laughs> All right, let, let's just get going, I guess. We'll see what's more to come on this strawberry fun house. That made me a bit motion sick. According to the map, there should be guest rooms in the lounge on the second floor. Oh. All right, I shall go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yeah, I got it. Uh, those are more stairs. So, this isn't technically all that necessary? Oh, the lounge is in there. Gotcha. Yeah, so all this shit is literally nothing. Wait, I swear I saw the word lounge before. Oh, that's where it was. Okay. Uh, what do you have to say? Are you going to say the thing about the drinks again? Why are you standing around here? Weren't you going to check out the guest rooms? Huh? Well, it seems that the standard room over there is already occupied. Occupied? Then... I... Should... <laughs> okay. I should go explore another place first. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Also, what's going on with my pet? I'm glad I checked, because I would have kind of forgotten about it. Alright. First up is the lounge. Do I enter, or does there... Or does something happen? Hmm. Okay. Huh, this is so... So this is the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for things that I might be able to use. There's a clock here that's not really all that necessary, I guess. Also a painting. Or a portrait, excuse me. Check out Gundam and Sonya first. How meaningless to think this savage toad would confuse me. Go by four dark devas of destruction! Gotcha, so this is the last name that I never heard. I've, I've waited for you, invading Black Dragon, Champy. Champy. Champy? Champy. Champy. Everything else made a... Well... I mean, everything else is supposed to sound... Well, one of them... Maga... Maga Z... Is the only one that's weird. There's Jumpy, Champy, Magazi, and... What was the last one? I don't know. I don't quite remember. Wasn't it like Tanny or something? I forget. Exert your strength to your heart's content. <laughs> I shall wait until Champy returns with his report. He has such skillful control over his hamsters. He might really be able to communicate with them. I mean, I believe it. I see. He was able I to see. get a hamster to do his bidding to get a scrap of paper. This place is supposed to be a lounge, but it seems I may not be able to calm myself and relax in here. Seriously, I thought the amusement park was in bad taste. This is even worse. I agree. Monokuma's eccentric taste would shock even an Indian. Shock an Indian? What the? I don't know what that means, but oh well. That's a surveillance camera, same thing. Enough already. Monitor. Wahoo! Okay. Now the last three things. A clock. A rotary phone. And a portrait. Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is. But knowing the time isn't going to help things. Telephone? Ah, there's a telephone! 
uh, the fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call somewhere with this? When I walked toward the phone, I immediately noticed it. What is this? Yeah, it's not an actual rotary phone. <laughs> it's got gr a decal of a grape and a set of grapes instead. Instead of a instead of numbered buttons, it's just a single button with a grape image on it. Why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. Oh, I thought it was gonna... Okay, so it's just a constant thing. Ah, sounds like it's connecting to somewhere. But no one's picking up. Let me tell you this. Maybe there's another one somewhere else here? Probably in the giant, uh, tower? Strawberry tower, I think it was called? What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, it looks like any other regular telephone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone, and I don't even know where it's connecting to. This too must be the will of causality. Jeez, what's going on? My four dark devas of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing of note to report. Listen! Why have you given up? There may be still something on this floor that we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to give up. I leave that matter to your discretion. Good. I leave the, I leave this Yep, okay. All right. I should try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. Uh, one other thing. Portrait. There's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Uh, Turu Kara Kura. Kara Ukura. I don't know if that's an actual important name, but I'll find out. Hopes Peak Academy Founder. Oh, gotcha. There's an old portrait. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? Seems very out of place. Also, the placard on this portrait. Oh, oh, Izuru. I thought it said Turu. I was like, Man, that's a weird way to just use a uh, lowercase letter, but oh well. Hope Speak Academy founder, Izuru uh, Kamakura. Okay, I thought there was another letter there. Yeah, it looks like there's a K-A-R-A -A there, but alright. Kamakura. Izuru. Alright. Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hope Speak Academy be in a place like this? Also, this name. It's so hard to pronounce! Izuru Kamakura? Wait, Kamu... I don't know. Uh... These are the deluxe rooms. That's a, one standard room. And two crummy rooms. Maybe if I knock? I don't know. Oh, I can go in. What the fuck? Strawberry deluxe room. Wow. Oh, uh, that did not... You hold... You hold left. And the camera... If you hold the right key, or D, the camera moves to the left. That's the first time it's been like that. That's weird. And that camera doesn't appear until the camera's... My camera is here. Weird. Okay, this is a surveillance camera. Yep, same thing. What about this? The monitor needs to communicate with us. Weird. Okay. Now is the other... Uh... Extravagant room, the deluxe room, gonna be the same thing? Oh, hey, Nekomaru. Okay. Seems to be the same. Jeez. However, I never expected we'd lose three people during my absence. Are you talking to someone? Yeah. Mm. 
Hiyoku and Ibuki. Ibuki. Uh, was I doing Gundam's voice? And those two were quite the noisy bunch. It's as if a fire was smothered. And I cannot believe Mikon was the one who murdered them. Yeah. That's why. No matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came back to us. Huh? Then I must live to everyone's expectations! As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims! I will not allow it! Well, the only way we're getting out of here is if someone kills someone, so I don't believe it for a second. Standard room was supposed to be taken, right? I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. Uh, probably Fuyuhiko and Akane. Oh, I can- I can go in? I just got right. Hey, hey. I got that right. Also, I saw a Monokuma figure. Hey, what'd you want to talk about? Well, well, you know... I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but... <laughs> but when I look at you, I just have to say something. What? Then spit it out! Hey! You don't need to act so stubborn, you know. Because... I know what you're going through. Huh? Huh? So... The only reason you're standing here right now is... Because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that. Isn't that right? Like... Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So you... Don't want to be honest about it. Huh. Well, I understand that feeling, too. You? Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So... But like he said, it's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now. But you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me... Sorry. Sorry. Huh? Oh, are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her, but I can't tell her. I can't tell her that anymore. So, but you're different. So, huh. make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait. So, what are you trying to say again? Wow. Hmm. I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. I don't get my figure. <laughs> It looks like I gotta go back there eventually. Fuyuhiko took the time to talk to her. But it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. Uh-oh. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Crummy room. And also there's five rooms. So... There's gonna be two people in each room? Oh wait, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, so... Yeah. If there's five rooms, uh, that, that means there are only gonna be four sets of two, and one person who's alone. Probably the one robot, or it's gonna be me, the traitor. Yeah. <laughs> surveillance camera. Surveillance camera. Watching on your friend for fresh. Same old, same old. Am I gonna be one of the people that's stuck with a crummy room? That's that. Uh, I think this one as well. It's probably gonna be the same, but it's no harm in checking. Okay. Hmm. So within the first three hours of exploring this new area, I've found three Monokuma figures and know of the location of a fourth one. And I'm probably gonna... Oh, I'm probably gonna come across the fifth one at some point. And the bathrooms. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor. But that doesn't mean it... There's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Wait, what? Why are you down here? Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess he would come to explore with me. 
Uh, ooh. Kazuichi. Uh, yeah, the final dead room. I kind of forgot about that. Elevator. I can't interact with that. Alright. I'll interact with people first. Okay, so only the one bathroom. Alright. Nakamaru first. This building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. You still have to use the bathroom? Preventing me from taking good shit. This house is certainly defective. Uh... I'll look at the bathrooms first, but let me talk to people first. Hey, Chiaki. What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. No. I was just thinking. Why strawberry? Huh? Why is that? Mm. Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. Or even fruits like peaches or in and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then, why strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Yeah. What was that conversation just now? <laughs> okay. There's Nagito. I was wondering where he was. I was like, I know that there were three people for this group. Monitor. Same thing. Wherever the camera is. Yep. Okay. Also, this big ass strawberry that's in the middle for some god knows reason. Oh, elevator. Yeah. Kazuichi. What? Is there anything you want to say to me? Uh, no, nothing. The possibility isn't zero. I do think it's extremely close to zero, but it's never going to be zero, no matter what. Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. All right. I wish it was you and not Mikan. It doesn't appear until you get into this area. Interesting. <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a qui uh, quitter like me. I thought that said quiet or person like me. Someone like me. I'm terribly sorry. That someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Okay, enough with the pessimism. Pessimistic viewpoint. Okay, there is... Okay, I can look at the clock. Interesting. It's a wall clock. A wall clock above the bathroom door? Jeez, what kind of placement is that? I mean, it would probably help to... Someone, maybe. Looks like this is a bathroom. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. When in the world is my constipation going to be fixed? You. Uh. Let me visit the final dead room after I see what this elevator's about. Oh, isn't this an elevator? That's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. A grape image. It's the same as the button on the young... Um, <laughs> I was about to say young lounge telephone. What will happen if I press this? And so, without really thinking about it, I tried pressing the button, but... It's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but looks like this elevator isn't usable. To us, maybe. Also, we haven't run into Monami in here, right? It's only been... Monokuma? The final dead room. This is really fucking creepy. This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma! 
The only one who... Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled Holy Land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Ultimate weapon, Octagon, puzzle, final dead room, okay? Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room! Life-threatening game? What the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is gonna do that? I mean, Nakamaru could maybe go in and not die? Maybe? What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? That final dead room place sounds suspicious. But going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. Huh? It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Now then, the others should be at the Strawberry Tower at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Show some spirit! Let's get going already! Yeah, I mean, the others are still here, but oh well. Oh, I get to walk through. Hmm. Strawberry Hall door, don't interact with the button. Gotcha. According to the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door. Huh? There's no doorknob? There's no way we can open a door like this. Maybe you just have to press the button that's next to the door that has a strawberry on it? You know, you know, the one that has open written on it? I wonder what that means. It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. I... Wait. Seriously? Huh? Anyway, I just have to press the button, right? This button, then. Nagamaro raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Oh. Oh, I, th I thought he broke it somehow. Grape doors. So, this is Strawberry Tower, huh? And it has a monomy... It has Monami on the floor. Hmm. The building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. Jeez. Jeez. More of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower. Right? Then why... Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? Uh, oh, illustration is something I can look at. Uh, is that an edge or does it just actually continue on forever? Yeah, okay, so now, now that there's a place where I'm grounded, pressing the A button goes to the left, pressing the D button goes to the right, the way that it should. Why? Weird. Alright. Nekomaru first. Illustration, then door. Huh? This is such terrible taste! Well, if Monokuma did the decorating, it's a given that this place would have terrible taste. But Monami has a strawberry in her mouth, so something tells me that this was Monami's doing. Also, did her... Did she have a... No, she had an apple tree in her front yard. Yeah, strawberries don't grow on trees. They grow on vines, right? Berry bush. Strawberry bush. Strawberry vine. Grape vine. Eh, fuck it. Alright, illustration. There's a picture on the floor. It's Usami's face. Okay, so he still calls her Usami. Gotcha. Huh. Okay, maybe I'll adopt that a bit more if I'm still Hajime. Usami. That's Usami's face. She has a strawberry in her mouth. Even this is strawberry themed, huh? Well, at least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. Something tells me it's gonna change. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a grape image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image. Doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone and also the one we found near the first floor elevator? Perhaps 
This door might be the exit. Huh? Exit? Huh? Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. Yeah, it's the I only see. it's the only thing in Strawberry House, but there could be more to this fun house than just the strawberry house. Oh, the grape house. Oh! That's it. There's a phone that connects to this to the grape house. But there's also an elevator that connects to the grape house? Yeah. So there's a strawberry house and a grape house. And strawberry tower, which I find odd. Hmm. There's a door at the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of the door? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. Nakamaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry the door open. However, <laughs> that sound almost implies that he's weak. He's just as weak as everybody else, even in this form. What does this mean? The doorknob won't budge. Not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, shit. It appears to be locked tight. Show some spirit. In that case, I shall use my full power. Whoa! With a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. He's just gonna rip off the hinges. Or the, the doorknobs, isn't he? But... <laughs> Same sound. <laughs> uh, not yet. Uh, here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower! Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here! That would be bad. So, shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? I see. Hmm. You have a point. Oh. Very well then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then let's get back to the strawberry house and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Yeah. Hold on. Before then... Uh... Oh, not not that. Ah, shit. I was doing so well, too. Um... Yeah, let's leave the area. Hmm? Is it just me, or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? While we were gone... Oh! Hey, everyone. Why was I the only person not to show up? Also, heaven forbid, I'm going to save here. Thank you for giving me such amazing opportunities before anything else happens. But Monokuma's probably going to be last and then the elevator door, maybe something. Hey, Nagito. Hajime, I was waiting for you, you know. Huh? Why were you waiting for me? Um, Monokuma said he'll be presenting something when everyone is here. Monokuma said that? Okay, so Monokuma is definitely going to be last. Nakamaru. Urgh. He's glaring at the bathroom with eyes full of abnormal malice. Is he really that upset that he can't take a shit? <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess Gundam first. Where were you? I swear, making an overlord wait. It was close. Very well. But this won't happen a second time. Okay. Hey, Sonia. You got any free time later? Hajime, were you safe? I... Apparently, Monokuma has something to say. But I have an odd feeling about this. I only have a bad feeling about this. Uh, for you, Hiko. I, did you tell Akane what you wanted to say? Damn right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she didn't want to hear it, but I'm the only person who could say it. Kazuichi. 
Apparently, Monokuma has something to say. Oh, that's about it. Akane? Hey, hey. Is Fifiko all right? I think he was trying to flirt with me. Okay. Uh, keep that thought out of your head, please. Y you think that was flirting? I'm you can just skip that entirely. I wonder... I wonder if both... I wonder if both things at text would be different if I didn't go. Hey, Chiaki. Well? Apparently, Onakuma has something to say. But he's not gonna tell us until everyone... Everyone's together. It's probably something terrible again. Hmm. Terrible. It'd be much better if it was just terrible. Okay. Sup, you little bear freak. Yo! How are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? I'm right. I am right. Strawberry House's side. Strawberry House's side? There's a strange... That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Of course! That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator! Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Uh, may maybe this elevator doesn't go to... Doesn't go to the grape side? Maybe there's a whole nother fruit side? Hey, hey! Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that it moves vertically! This is an elevator that travels along a rail! So even... So even moving horizontally is as easy as pie! Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right! To Grape House! Huh? Grape House? Hey, um... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings! Okay, See so there's a lot later. more fruit. Gotcha. Well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead! I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? Um... And that we must ride that elevator, right? Are we screwed? What should we do? Show some spirit. Ha! We just have to go for it! The only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move! I mean... But still, you know... <laughs> what? You scared? Of course not! Ah, oh, hell no! Why are you even... Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonya? You're still barking up that tree, huh? huh? Fine, I'll fucking go! <laughs> I'm not scared at all! Well, I don't have it as bad as Kazuichi, but... I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand here and do nothing. Alright, let's go. When I pressed the gray button next to the door, it immediately opened. Hmm... We stepped on the elevator, and off we went to the uh, Grape House. Is this going to be the interior of the other elevators? But this time with a robot? Uh, different interior, completely. Nice. But our positions are kind of the same, I think? I think so. Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. How so? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high-performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Maybe it's not actually moving. Uh, alright, this is still Akane. Alright! Let's open the door and make sure! You must not! You cannot. That is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration-free elevator... Ugh, I don't know why I continue to have to itch my eyebrow. Eventually, the door in front of us opened... Suddenly opened. Because it's not moving at all. And I'm right about that. It appears we've arrived at our destination. Is that Sakura? So this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome to the Grape House! Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Oh. Honeycomb design. Hmm. But... 
Okay, so thinking about it... Circle, the door... Which, I don't see a door on this schematic. But if it is, then I'm right about Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower being the same thing. They should go off in opposite directions. Because the doors are completely on 180 de uh, degrees from one another. Unless, that's meant to confuse us. Because if Grape House is on its own sanction that's separated by a single room, and not actually... Mm, I'll let the game explain itself. Ta-da! This is the Grape House in its entirety! So, let's start explaining the first floor! Ahem! Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than the Strawberry House! Just like how there's a Strawberry Hall over there, there's a Grape Hall on this side! And when you go through the Grape Hall, that means there's a Grape Tower! The second floor of the Grape House is the same as the second floor of the Strawberry House! I have prepared five guest rooms of different types, along with a relaxing lounge! But the main attraction of the Grape House is obviously the third floor! The Monokuma Archive! Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive! Huh. Okay, so that's unique to the Grape House. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here! Hmm. My guess is that's where I'm gonna learn about myself. What happened to the parts about the boat? Oh no. Now then, this concludes the tour. I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explained with words! So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. That's all for me. Any questions? Like... I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? huh? Is that necessary? Hey. What are you saying? Of course it is! <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game! So how can there be any tension that there's no time limit? <laughs> so, I've decided to use your stomachs this time as a time limit! Okay. That was never in the first game, and I was always wondering if this was ever going to happen. So this is the true motive this time around. Because if nobody... If nobody does kill, we could have just stayed in here as our new living quarters, but... Now, not so much. Don't tell me. What do you mean? In other words... Well, simply put... <laughs> it means kill someone before you starve to death! Lies! Oh no, is this where Akane's going to kill? Wait, is Akane going to cry over seeing Sakura? And then that's how we know that this is actually Hina? What the heck? <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible! <laughs> It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill! Hey. Hold on! What? Starve? Damn it! Damn it. How much more of this do we have to take until we satisfied? Damn it. Uh, was he serious about there being no food? I don't want that! No way! That's gotta be- that's the one thing I don't want! I don't mind starving as long as I can eat! Just let me eat already! Jeez. As long as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger! Obsessions are truly annoying! <laughs> but at least try to stay calm! Now's not the time for you to panic! Why is he screaming? Hey. Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us. So for now, we should explore the inside of the building too. Right. After all, if you don't give if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Alright. Alright. And then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Pairings would... is correct, but oh well. Hey, hey, hey! Hold on! This time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonia. She's already left. Like... She already left with Gundam. Hmm. <laughs> okay, short and sweet. Looks like you're being avoided. Not just rejected. Hey. Kazuichi, I understand you're feeling down. But we better get going. Damn right. Akane, you too. 
How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Then... Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with the Grape Tower. I see. Hmm. So you're saying we sh Uh, wait, was that me? Was that me who said that? Oh, yeah, it was me. We should start with the Grape Tower. Hmm. So you're saying we're going to start with the most suspicious place. All right! Then let's start with Grape Tower! Show some spirit! Let's start with Grape Tower! Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm going to let myself starve to death in here. Oh, yeah, you two are still down here. Interesting. Uh, elevator again. Grape Tower. Or, Grape Hall. Even here, she's known as Ogre, Bronze Statue. Huh. Interesting. Okay, uh... Let me interact with... These people first. I- I need a drink. I was just about to open my mouth and start doing his voice again. But my throat is... Fucking scratched with all his screaming. Hmm. Hmm. Soothing. If I was just doing his voice, it'd be fine. But... Mechamaru is just screaming so much. Nekamaru's voice is fine, but Mechamaru screams so fucking much. Grape house, huh? This blaze has terrible taste as well. Okay, that's that sorted out. Uh... I'll leave best for last. What's up for you, Higo? Starving us like pretty uh, seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. That piece of shit! How dare he pull such a dirty trick on civilians? Okay. Akane. Starting to get pumped up. Look at that statue! I'm starting to feel a little excited! What's that mean? Why is there a statue like that in a place like this? I'm gonna do it! Wait, is this creature inside this building? You seriously don't remember? That much is gone? Really? I thought I thought there would have been anything like a like a why do I feel like I remember? Something like that. I don't think so. This is probably in the hall just to garnish it. Huh? Garnish? <laughs> you mean like a food garnish? Is this food? Is it tasty? It's not food. It's just a decoration. Hmm. Okay. Let me interact with the good old, good old surveillance camera. Yep. And where's the monitor? Over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you got about the elevator? Yep, this has a strawberry to go back to the strawberry place. Hmm? What happened? Are you planning to go back to the strawberry house? There's no time for that! You need to charge through Grape Tower! Okay. I'm just looking, is all. And this is something that I've never actually understood. What does WC even stand for? I've always seen it in anime. Uh, like, if it was WS, I could understand WASH. But... But, I don't know. Or even WR for WASH ROOM? WC, I've never understood. Okay, clock and then mail restroom. It's a wall clock. Since there are no windows or Monokuma announcements, I have to rely on the clocks to know what time it is. Is there still gonna- Well, since, since the- it's- the game says it's still daytime, there's probably gonna be a nighttime call as well. Alright, bathroom. Ugh. So there's a bathroom here as well! Regardless, I still cannot shit! This is the body's only downside- That's the only downside to this body! Well, why do you have to do that at all? The only downside? Your optimism is praiseworthy. Yeah. Yeah, this room... Just there, huh? What about if I go over here? No. Weird. Hmm. Okay. Let's check out Sakura statue. 
What is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, but it doesn't fit the ambiance at all. Ah, uh, there's a name written on here. Hmm? Ogre? Does that mean it's a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? Oh, if you only knew. Okay. Yeah, and Gray Paul isn't allowed to access either. Hmm. Okay, that's that. Grape Hall door. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like at Strawberry Hall, I only need to press this button. Show some spirit! Alright! Leave it to me! Nakamaru raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Hmm. It's not opening! Oh, that's weird. When we were at Strawberry Hall. Strawberries misspelled. Strawberry Hall. <laughs> this should have opened. Don't tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down. Uh, well, it obviously shouldn't. Did you hear something? And that's when Nekomaru started shouting. More shouting. Oh. Ooh. different decal on the floor. Hmm. Interesting. The door opened! But, what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? It's because everything needs to get switched. One door needs to get locked. So does that mean that there has to be at least one person on each side? So what happens... What happens in between? Is it possible that we put someone in here to see what happens and they're killed because the scene is switching? I don't know. Why didn't the door open right away? I see. So this is Grape Tower. Hmm. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. And there go my dogs. But like I was saying, Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Well, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. And also the floor. Anything about that? No Monokuma thing here. Alright. Nakamaru first. But... Why did Grape's Hall door not open sooner? That's definitely strange. Well, this building's existence is a mystery. Illustration. There's a picture on the floor of Usami's face with grapes in her mouth. This feels different from Strawberry Tower. Usami picture over there had a strawberry in her mouth. But what's truly different... On the Grape Tower door, at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. A strawberry door- A strawberry door inside Grape Tower? That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back of the Strawberry Tower. So, on the strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, a strawberry door? That's even more complicated! <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside! I see. I'm living with a bunch of idiots. <laughs> it's obvious by looking at this map, since there's nothing beyond the, the far back door of Grape House. If so, the only thing we can do is try it! Hold it. Hey, Chiaki, why, why are you here? Shouldn't you be with the others? I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? 
What did you say? Before, uh, before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. So you ran away. Well, you're soon going to find out how exhausting Nekamaru can be. Especially when you have to voice him. It's pointless to try it out? It's possible that the door is the exit. Why is it pointless to try it out? Okay, and Chiaki. Yeah, hold on. Did my rabbit do anything in that time? Uh-oh. Hmm, don't know. Well? Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely, you say? It, it's rare for Chiaka to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the Funhouse's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to his respective tower. Hey, hey. Are we really gonna go over this? First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on the left hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up in Strawberry Tower, right? On the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hall is on the right hand side. And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? I wonder if the elevator doesn't move, but the rest of the building does. Because that'd be interesting. That'd be a different take on it. You'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Um... Now. Here comes the main point for those two buildings. Whoa! Ah, so you were so you were here all along. Hey, hey, Chiaki, don't go running off on your own. Hey, you disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you, Kazuichi Nagito. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. Man. Huh? Was that annoying for you? Hell yeah, it was! I don't want to be alone with a creep like you! This is troubling. I see. Uh, so it's not just Hachime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. Hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> well, yeah! Thanks to you, bastard! Oh, more people are gathering here. I didn't even get to check the rest of the places. Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. Well, yeah. There aren't many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Damn it. Right now, the only thing I found is... Uh, there's seriously no food all? anywhere. This isn't funny at all. I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation before that happens. Why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? You insolent fool! You imbecile. What are you implying? <laughs> I'm sorry! It was close. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark devas of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hell fire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? I shall engulf this world. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in the on strawberries, strawberry houses into a park are cursed flowers from hell's garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark devas of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> I am relieved to hear that. <gasps> now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well, I should listen to what everyone has to say. Now then. Is it fine if Gundam, Fuyuhiko, and I represent our teams and give the reports? Damn 
right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that you feeds will be happy to hear about. Of course. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are slightly off. Okay. Uh. So, it was Nagito, Fujihiko, and who? Gundam, that he said? I gotta... Gundam, Fuyuhiko, and I represent our teams and give the reports. Okay. So, I'll go to Nagito last because he'll probably... Well, yeah, because he's gonna explain his stuff. Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones on the second floor of Strawberry House. Which, I'd like to know if they went to talk some more, but I did see them on the first floor. But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, Like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. Is that the same photo? I think it is. There's also a phone in the lounge too. However, instead of a instead of the grape button that was on this phone in Strawberry House's lounge, there's a strawberry button on the phone in the Grape House's lounge. Now then. Now, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the picture on those buttons shows where each phone connects to. The picture on the button shows where each phone connects to? That's Probably it. Sup, Akane? Lies. This ain't funny at all! There's no- there's seriously no food anywhere! You... Instead of talking about food all the time, how about you try and find the exit? <sighs> exit? Is that tasty? Oh my. This chick! Even the inside of her head is full of drool. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but everyone's reports, say, uh, are important, so let's listen to them first. Kazuichi. Hey, Chiaki. Chiaki. When I realized she suddenly disappeared, I couldn't believe she went for to you of all people. And now everyone's gathered here all of a sudden. What's going on? You better not say I lured everyone here. Uh. Well, it's not like that. But you know, like, you already knew this place was important, so you were totally casing this area. So once someone is suspicious of me, anything I do will look suspic suspicious to them, huh? What should I do? Yeah. Neko? We should first listen to the reports that the others have, ge have gathered. Yeah, you're right. Got them. <laughs> now then. I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you this. I won't let you say such nonsense like, I forgot Mon Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the funhouse. Hey, hey. Could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi, <laughs> and you lonely humans. Kneel. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me. The overlord of ice and of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> a single part? Behold, a motor is a ship part. Probably like a toy boat instead. Uh, based on its extremely small size, isn't that... Uh, that's a radio controlled toy! Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Listen, at this point, you're not even creative. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before. What? But I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up, shut I'm not asking up. about that! You mean the ship part you found was just some radio control toy? Loser! <laughs> you totally got tricked! I never said a single word about this ship being real! Stupid! 
idiot moron. It looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it definitely was a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Okay, Sonia. Amazing. That was the very first time I ever seen I have ever seen a radio controlled toy. I found it quite fashionable. I was able to hear Gundam's old story as well. So this was quite a wonderful discovery. But it wasn't useful at all. Sup, Nagito. And lastly, what's up with the reports above? Mm, give me your report. Allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me? Since I'm not the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good at all. Which means it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard. Just hurry up and say it already. Um. Well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. Mm -hmm. See? You remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Interesting. Uh... I wonder if any of those Monokuma things could be clicked on, but oh well. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who build their memorial house in their hometown. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Ever. Actually. Ah, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma archive. Lost child? What? A lost child? What? Huh? Where did she go? Oh, Usami. Hey! Hey! Don't just hide! Come on out! <laughs> Hello! So the lost child was you. People react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you all wouldn't react. It's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. <laughs> how sad. It's so sad to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Um. Um, did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monami? Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> but I'm honestly happy that you're here. Huh? Hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you that's left that's still rabbit meat? No. I'm expected to be fun! Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse? Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're, cur that we're in currently, and the strawberry tower we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. The two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? Their positions. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when you get the. Uh, when your back is facing the elevator, right? Um. Yeah, I would think maybe uh, the elevator just moves side to side, but based on like the shape of it, we would also have to move a little bit diagonally. Kinda. But the human body... Uh, the human body has a great sense of uh, acceleration. Now, it can't sense acceleration constantly. 
only when there is a change in velocity. And that is what acceleration is. Acceleration can be not only a change in velocity, but a change in direction as well. And we didn't feel that. So what's up? But inside Grape House... But inside Grape House... Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator, right? And so, if we think about it and put those two together... Oh, I thought... Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm, I'm just stupid. I, I... I knew that the hexagon was wider than the uh, rectangle. So I, I thought it was a circle, but oh well. Then the, It's wider than the rectangle. Or... It, the hexagon is wider than the rectangle is long, I guess you can say. So I didn't expect the elevator that we ride in to be at the exact position. I thought there was a little bit of a change. I don't know. The two towers are the same building. And each house connects this to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But... That might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? Then, in the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be sh showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the ca if that's the case, it would mean the strawberry house is beyond that door with a strawberry image on it. As well as the opposite, the grape door that was at Strawberry Tower would lead to Grape House. Meaning, we opened the Grape Hall's door when we came in here. So... Meaning, depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps. Which means, when you look at the other side of the Grape Hall door, when we used to come in here. Yep. The grape picture actually... Should actually be on here. Hey. And then we gotta... And all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side. Oh wait, no, this is Kazuichi. Uh, from the other side? Hmm. That might be impossible. Huh? Impossible? Why? Well... Hajime and Nekamaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? What's wrong with that? Well, when you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? So, just as I assumed. Uh, how, how'd you know? When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while, did you take the elevator? How, how, how did that happen? How did no one see this happen? I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly... ...the strawberry door automatically closed in front of me. <laughs> the door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button... ...the strawberry hall door wouldn't open. Um... But... Why? The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so that only one can open at a time. Yeah, so so someone can be on each end. So you were just in here? I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? And then... The reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you... So what I mean is... Was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? Yep. And when that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because... It was waiting for Strawberry Hall do Hall's door to close. If you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like... You're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but... Aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know? There's no way they're the same building. 
You don't know? You didn't notice? They're just lights on the floor being shined on the wall. They're reflecting a colored light on, uh, onto the white wall. It makes it look like the wall color has changed. Uh, then, what about the picture on the on the floor? Is that different too? Maybe the floor is just a screen, and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. And it's safe to say they're the same building, right? I I'm a little confused as to where Chiaki was standing. It almost sounded like she was in here. Like, she said that the... Uh, I thought that she meant that she was in Strawberry Tower, but she was in Strawberry House when sh the... When the Strawberry Door closed, right? I think it... I was, I was a little bit lost in her placement. If I go back, will I be able to... Uh... Okay, a little bit. When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I I felt like there was something I missed when I when suddenly the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Okay, so she was still in the house. Gotcha. Uh, and afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Uh, but wouldn't both doors just? Try and open and close at the same time, continuously. But this is a very important question, problem. So isn't it better if we test it out? Test? For example, we should leave something behind here. And we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. Right. And if it's still there, we could conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? Hold on. No, that's impossible! There's a sensor preventing that. What? Huh? Sensors? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors blasted all over the wall, towers, walls, and floors. You can sense that because you're a robot. You can sense infrared. Why can't you notice them? I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. M my guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. And when it reacts, prevents the door from opening. I knew there would at least be something like that. By the way, how good is that sensor's performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that there can it, that it can even detect our your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Someone's going to be dead in here. Well shit. And I already know where there's going to be a dead body. Fuck. Or where someone is going to use to transport a dead body from one house to another. Well, that sucks. Then, it, it'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey. What about Nak- uh, What the fuck? I read Nakamaru and immediately went to that voice. What about Nakamaru? He's a heartless robot. I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to, to a stop, too, right? Jeez. Like you said, if I cease all functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice. Uh, sorry. You're right. And once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again, or my chest alarm goes off. But how'd you wake up the last time? When we were all knocked out. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about it being left alone in that state. You is it far too it is far too dangerous. Even as an experiment. It is imp it is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. Uh is there a rule about not leaving it? I don't remember. I'll leave this handbook here. We'll all move over, uh, move over to the Strawberry Tower. And if, by chance, the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? You're right. Let's try this. We left Chiaki's e-handbook right away. Uh, 
Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. Alright, perfect. I was waiting for a good opportunity to end because uh, I was in the middle of inspecting that place and it just felt weird to leave it as it was. So, thank you game for giving me a little bit of time. Also, will I be able to explore up above? Because I feel as if like there's going to be at least one Monokuma figure somewhere there. Unless it's hidden somewhere else. I don't know. Oh well. I'm looking forward to seeing what discoveries can be made about this. But for now, i got to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for coming out. And, uh... Uh, did I... 34. Did I save in the middle or something? I might have. Probably. Oh well. Thanks for coming out, and have a nice day.